All right. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the Healthy Dome. So today we are going to do something very simple. I know, I know. Um, why, you might ask? I see this a lot where people don't even know how to make cereal. So we're gonna do cereal today. I mean, it's that simple. We're gonna take and show you the simple steps on how to get the perfect cereal without having it soggy. Okay? <clears throat> are you ready? So this is what we're gonna do. I have a little flip where I am adding granola and uh, freeze-dried raspberries because I'm a fancy person. And we have some honey because I love adding honey as a sweetener. And then we also have milk. You can use any type of milk. This is um, regular milk, but you can also use um, almond milk, oat milk, or any type of milk and a bowl to put your cereal in. So I'm gonna go over the measurements so you know it's very simple. I'm gonna do it in, on camera because, I mean, why not? Um, this right here is a mm, two tablespoons of granola. We have a tablespoon, two tablespoons of freeze-dried raspberries. We have one and a half cups of cereal and this is just regular cornflakes i get it at trader joe's and we also have a cup of milk so for every two cups of cereal you should have one cup of milk you shouldn't have more than that and if you want to measure it out you could but if you're just starting off the best way is to pour your cereal first because why would do people do that i don't know why they put milk first and not the cereal because then you'll have a lot of milk and you're not really going to need that and then it makes the cereal all soggy and stuff. I don't even know. Let's start. <laughs> it just gets me so aggravated. I just want to show people how to do this properly. And the, I'm not going to show you the two differences because I'm pretty sure you've gone through the two differences. If you, or if, if not, then you just decide to be your own self and not change anything about you. Consistently keeping yourself as basic as possible anyways <laughs> just kidding okay so we're gonna take the one and a half cups of cereal we're gonna pour it first very simple we're gonna add the granola on top very very simple and then you're also gonna do I like to add everything first and then add the milk because that's just the simplest way of doing it and it doesn't you know and you know exactly what you're eating because you're not really gonna eat the the milk is not the most important meal the milk is just to cover everything up and not have it so dry so I'm just gonna go around probably a good tablespoon to a teaspoon of honey sorry by the way if you're licking your fingers don't touch the jar because you don't want to contaminate it <laughs> might build some fungus and etc. So once you have it there set up ready to go you're gonna pour the milk and you're just gonna pour that milk in there. See you might not even need that much of a cup anyways like I said this is why this is perfect because you see how when you tilt it it comes out a little bit you don't want a lot of it you just want enough to cover it so I feel like this is okay. Ooh. Never mind that. This is okay. So do one third, um, do two thirds, or to this measurement, obviously not. If you're doing more, you can just add it because uh, at least you know it's so little. I added the whole thing. Look, it's not even enough. It's just right enough but you don't want it to sit on top if you add the milk first and then the cereal the cereal will be on the top and it will be floating and it won't coat everything properly so you want this right here this is what you want you don't want to do anything else but this you understand please stop pouring extra extra milk on your cereals for goodness sakes nobody wants that you know you don't want that so why do you do it you know you're gonna throw away the milk, so you might as well drink it. 
and not drink milk by itself after you eat one tablespoon of cereal. Do it this way and you will be able to eat more food than drink milk. All right? Capish? You understand? Entiendes? Hmm? Você fala? I don't know. What else? What kind of other language can I say that in? Um, uh, French. Yeah, how do you say that? Um, I don't know. Anyways, if you know, leave the, you know, how do you say, uh, do you understand in all your languages that you know? I don't know. Maybe I'll learn something new. So yeah, and make sure you subscribe and check the notification box so you can get notifications on my new videos and what I post. And also give a like because if you like this, then you should give it a like. Okay? Kabish? All right.